Hello, today I just wanted to show my new project I've been working on. It's called the FM Berry, which allows you to uh, transmit FM audio uh, with your Raspberry Pi over a very uh, cheap MMR70 transmitter from uh, Sony. Um, you can get these for like one or two uh, euros at Amazon. Um, the software itself is written in C and is freely available at uh, github.com slash manavam slash Um and I'm just going to um, demonstrate it now. What we have here is a standard FM radio as you can see here and we are currently tuned into 99 uh, megahertz or something around that. Um, it's not really as accurate because this is a very old radio. And we are now going to go over to the PC. Oh, I guess. And what we have here are basically three terminals. In the first terminal, oh, I am going to open up the. Oh, I think you can see this. I'm going to open up the syslog so we can see the debugging output of the. Fmberry daemon which is running all the time and then we can just go ahead and run the control program which is ctl fmberry so we can just power it off and as you can hear the transmitter is now shut off and we have our a uh, normal mm, fm noise and we can just go up here and start a radio stream, which is then playing over the internal um, audio pod of the Raspberry Pi. And we are going to just turn it back on. And there's our music. Um, the next thing we can do is changing the frequency over this program. So we can just set go now and set uh, CTL FM battery set frequency to um, 100 megahertz. So, yeah. And we don't hear anything because the frequency is one megahertz higher. We tune into that. Very good. So now let's let's just. Turn back to 99 megahertz. And there is our audio stream. As you can see here in the um, syslog, um, the daemon puts out a uh, notification message every time you issue a command, so you can just uh, uh, know what went wrong if something does not uh, work. For example, if we type in like 990 megahertz or something like that because we did something wrong we get an error about a bad frequency. Okay, um, I think that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, have a look at uh, the GitHub.